Hey everyone, Rizwan Jagani here and welcome to this Wednesday's video. I am nearing the end of my first official year as a master's student at Carnegie Mellon and I have a lot of crazy things going on so I was going to keep this video more on the simple side. As you probably know, a few weeks ago I got a new viola case, I did a review on it so I hope you've checked that out if you're thinking about getting a band case and the case cover. I'll put it up here. So I decided, you know, what to do one of those once again fun videos of what's inside my viola case. This is an updated version from the one that I did way back when with my old case. So just so you can see what I how I use the BAM and I get the sort of optimal use from it. And I'm just about ready to go to school for tomorrow. Well, I'm not gonna go to school now obviously, but the case is ready to go. And so I want to show you what all I usually take with me that way can kind of figure out how to maximize the best use of this type of case and just sort of like quintessential things that you should take with you and always be ready to have with you. So firstly, we're going to look at the outside case cover pocket because I got my foot pedal in here. This is my page flip butterfly foot pedal that was recommended to me by good colleague and friend Anios Novorian uh, to use my iPad Pro when I'm turning pages while doing performances. So I keep that in the pocket outside here. No need to carry an extra bag unless it's absolutely necessary. But now we'll open up the case. Okay, so got the case ready, but before I actually open up the case to show uh, like for anything, underneath, in between the case, the actual band and the case cover, I have my iPad and my orchestra parts. So here we have Don Quixote by Strauss, Beethoven's Eighth Symphony, and Roman Carnival Overture by Berlioz because that's what we're working on for today's concert actually. So yeah, nifty sort of thing. I don't need to necessarily put things away in another bag because it's fairly minimal. I can take this with me without having to take anything else. But one thing I didn't realize until I later on is that this case cover actually has a secret music pocket right here so if I wanted to I could put my etude books or something here there's a good space you know I didn't realize it until afterwards so that's a little addendum to the review but now let's crack up the viola case so of course most important thing the viola I keep it in a bag and this bag was made by the amazing Sarah Craner she has a really cool Facebook page with all these beautiful fabrics and cool thing is Anakiko Myers actually ordered a couple of bags for her Vilton Garnier Del Jesu um, from Sarah Craner. So yeah, definitely get a bag from her if you're thinking about getting one. I'll put her website below so you can check it out. But here is my gorgeous viola, Aguila. Special thing about this viola was it was actually a gift for me from my parents when I became an Eagle Scout back in 2010. It's made by Kayleen Zhang, a luthier in the Dallas, Texas area. I've had this viola for about almost eight years now, actually returning on eight years, and the viola is actually turning eight years. Um, its first owner, it was made in 2010, that's around the time I bought it. As you can see, I have my Freer's tailpiece on here and my little bling tuner. These fittings that I have on it didn't come with the instrument. Um, these are pegs by uh, Dov Schmidt. I've gotten a lot of things from him. Uh, he's actually the father of a good colleague and friend, uh, Giora Schmidt, um, who I worked with at Scotia Festival of Music. So if you want to get like pegs or chinrest or tailpiece, Dov Schmidt's a good guy to go to. And I got this tail, uh, chinrest, it's a Varga chinrest if anybody's actually interested. I like it because it has the same style as the coronary, so there's a good surface area, but it also has a lip. And for someone like me, I definitely benefit from it. But um, the place that I got it from is actually out of business. But if you ever want to look for it, it's called Bar uh, Tibor Varga Chinners. But yeah, that's my baby. Chills right in here. I got my shoulder rest. It's kind of like one of those, you know, those makeup ads. Like, you know, ooh, check this out. This is a Diamond Viva La Musica shoulder rest. I had been using a coon with sponges attached to it for a long period of time, as you probably have seen in my old videos. Um, I was recommended to this shoulder rest by um, the violist that plays in The Lion King on Broadway, Juna Chung. And he said this one's really good for sound and really good for comfort. 
I absolutely love it. I play on hours and I feel like I get the right positioning. Because of how the shoulders work, it pivots actually, like the way you can turn the feet. So I like it, it's a good shoulder rest. Fairly low profile, so I don't have all those really weird sponges protruding out. Cleaning cloth, of course, essential. Rosin builds up on the strings and on the bow and on the body of the instrument itself. Accessory pouch and spare strings. I have one set of spare strings in here and then I have another spare set of strings in the string tube. In the accessory pouch, you wanna make sure you always have these things. Pencil, always have a pencil with you for rehearsals. I use the iPad, so I have a stylus that goes with it, but obviously for the scores, like the Berlioz and whatnot, pencil. Sometimes it's good to carry two in case you need an extra or if your friend needs one. Earplugs. Um, we are in a sonic style profession, lots of sounds, and if you are ever fortunate to sit in front of the brass or the woodwinds, it's loud. Earplugs. Uh, these are custom earplugs by Westone. You can get them made at your audiologist's office. Um, they're a little expensive, they run about 150, but health, the investment is worth it. Rosin, you always wanna have this on hand, obviously, because that's how your bow works. This is Andreas Solo Viola Rosin. I used to use um, Parastro Ava and Obligato Rosins, but I had a friend who let me try out his Andrea Solo and I got hooked immediately. Really good stuff. Nail clippers, you always wanna have your nail clippers on with you. Um, I actually bought these particular ones because I forgot to trim my nails before an audition. So now this goes with me everywhere and it's a good thing to have if you're in a bind. Practice mute, I have one here with me in the case and I always have one in the apartment. Last few things, concert mute, I have two, one that's currently on the viola and one that I keep as an extra in case a friend needs it or in case I lose one. Hopefully we're not losing anything, but here, extras are always good, right? This box was given to me by my friend Delia Turner when I ordered the bling tuner from her, the one that you see on the instrument, the extra screw that I have where it is in here, which is blue. Peg compound is a good thing to have whenever you're changing strings to prevent your pegs from slipping or sticking. It kind of keeps things just fluid. And the last thing is chin rest wrench. If you're like me and go through a chin rest crisis every now and then, it's a good thing to have something like this, but also sometimes the chin rest will loosen. So it's good to have this. The best thing about this pouch that came with the case is I take this out with me whenever I'm in a rehearsal. So I don't have to rummage through the case for anything. Everything is right here. Okay, now my bows. I have two bows with me. The band case only carries two bows, so I have my primary bow and I have my secondary sort of backup bow. My primary bow is this one. It's a bow by D. Chagas. It's a Brazilian bow, Pernambuco stick, which is really nice. I got it a few months after I got the viola, and I got it from a shop in Washington, D.C. area, Maryland, uh, called Lash of Violins. If you're ever in that area, definitely check it out. Good bows, good products at a good price, essentially. I really like this bow. I haven't found one yet that's good enough to replace it. Actually, I've been on a bow search because I've been wanting to upgrade it. Almost all my friends think that this bow sounds better than some of the things I've tried out that are much more expensive. My backup bow, I got this from Kalen Zhang when I used to play an older viola by him. It's a Chinese uh, factory type bow. It's a very light bow, that's why I use it more for backup. The reason I like it is because it has a really pretty cow horn frog that even if I decide not to use this bow, I still might want to keep it for sentimental value just because it's pretty. Lastly, the wall of photos that I have in my case. I am a weirdo when it comes to like, you know, Broadway shows. I like to stage door and I like to meet actors so I get pictures with them. But every now and then I'll get a picture signed if it's by someone that's like extra special and I keep it in my viola case or I put it on my inspiration wall. Right now I have these ones in my viola case. So this is Deborah Cox. She's an R&B singer, Grammy nominated, multi-platinum, really cool. But I saw her when she was starring as Rachel Marin in The Bodyguard and she gave me a shout out on Twitter for a cover that I did and that's when I decided to get this photo signed while she was here in Pittsburgh. One of my biggest string musician inspirations, the amazing James Ennis. I had a master class with him last year at the Scotia Festival of Music which you can check out up here, the vlog from that. He was in Pittsburgh uh, playing Tchaikovsky Violin Concerto um, with the PSO. So I got him to sign this photo from the master class the amazing Jackie Burns, the first Broadway actress to ever recognize my uh, non-classical, my Broadway show tunes covers, um, back when she was uh, starring as Elizabeth in If Then. 
I got a little picture of me and two of my really close friends here at CMU um, from a party that was hosted by the School of Music for all the grad students. And an autographed ticket by uh, Kristen Chenoweth when she came and performed in Dallas. She said some really good advice in her concert that stuck with me, so I always keep this with me because I also saw this concert the, first, the, the day before my first grad school audition. So yeah, this is all that I keep in my viola case. I'm kind of a nut, but aren't all musicians. We're crazy in our own way, but we're also always prepared. In Scouts, we always say to be prepared, so I'm being a good Eagle Scout and I'm being a good musician. So I hope you like this video. Simple, but I figured it's a nice little sort of way to ease into things. I'm gonna have a few more videos coming up for you. I have one covering my repertoire class video at grad school and then a summary of grad school videos. So I hope you enjoy those when they come out and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to stay tuned for my upcoming adventures by subscribing to this channel if you've not done so and by following me on all my social media links which are below. Thank you so much. Bye!